Hello guys, welcome to Tech Chips. In this video, I will show you how to share files using VPN. So in this video, these are the three stages going to be done. First, uh, we need to configure the router, port forwarding, and second, uh, configure the server, the present computer, and configure the client in my virtual network. So let's get started. First, we need to configure the router. So open up your browser and type in. 192.168.1.1 and hit enter I am using a D-Link uh, 2730 model and in this you need to configure port forwarding so go to advanced setup go to NAT and over here you need to uh, click on this add button now choose custom service and enter pp tp and here you need to enter the current uh, ip address so for that open up your command command prompt and then type in ip config and over here uh, this is the ipv4 address of this current computer so you need to take this uh, so here it is 7 so I am going to use 7 for my IP, for my server IP address. So 7 here 1723 and for external also 1723. So that's it. Click apply. Actually I have already uh, the same thing. So here you can see that uh, I have added that PPTP and the external port and the internal port are 1723. So that's it. We have configured our uh, uh, router support forwarding uh, method so now let's move to the server configuration close your browser and open up your network uh, connections using ncpa.cpl yeah. click ok ok now uh, this is uh, router routers uh, LAN which is in my current uh, computer and this is my phone's uh, network connected to this virtual virtual box uh, windows 7 so now um, i'm going to add a new incoming connection to accept the uh, request so click uh, alt on your keyboard go to file new incoming connection a little bit here we go select the users click next uh, check through the internet click next now uh, uncheck uh, TCP IP version 6 if it is checked click allow access now close this before moving to the client configuration I just want to tell you this this is my uh, uh, server and this is my server's IP external IP and this is my client and client IP which is completely different so you should have two computers with the two uh, different networks uh, they should not be on the same network so now let's configure the client So open up network connections using ncpa.cpl. Click OK. Now go to network and sharing center. Click connect to network. Oops. Set up a new connection or network. Connect to your workplace. Click next. Use my internet connection. So here you need to put the external IP of the server. So server's external IP is 117 dot two nine six dot ninety six dot two five three right uh, now check this allow other people to use this connection click next now input the username and password Remember, connect for the first time it will take a uh, quite long time so Please wait for this.
yes now you are connected click close so now the VPN is working properly but there is an issue with this because the VPN is connected uh, I hope you won't uh, see this VPN is connected but here it says that there is no internet access so you are going to fix this one so go to your server and open up network connections so over here click on incoming connection here you can see that uh, one client connected which is my virtual network and play right click on this go to properties go to networking uh, click on this uh, IPv4 uh, check click the properties and now we need to here uh, <coughs> check this uh, specify IP address so click that and here you need to put the um, server's IP address for which the port forwarding is configured so I have configured my port forwarding on my 7 on uh, 7 which is my current IP or IPv4 address of a server and just set limit to anything you wish and click OK okay now check it out now let me disconnect this and connect once again So now uh, I reconnected a uh, disconnector and uh, connected to my VPN once again and here you can see that my VPN connection uh, got the internet access. Now let me open up this one. Okay, one and let me refresh this page and show you what happened. So now you can see that the IP address of my client is the same as my server. So this computer on a different network is connected to my home router. Right? Now uh, I'm going to share files. So uh, the server's IP address, the this one, server's IP address is uh, 7, ends with 7. And let me check this. Client. IP address which is using IP config and the server uh, clients IP address is 1.9 so in order to access server, server go to the run and push double slash and enter 192 uh, it is 7 wait a moment Here we go. Here we got uh, the window to enter my password. So enter my password. Click OK. So now this connection may, uh, uses the internet uh, of this network to access my home router's network to get my server's uh, files. So here you can see that the IP address is my server, and these files are located uh, under my server. And this connection is possible through the internet connection so that's it thank you for watching and see you guys in my next video